Francis Ford Coppola's Megalopolis is not only his big return to the big screen as director, but it's also marking a huge first in his career, making the project even more exciting. Francis Ford Coppola is one of the greatest directors in film history, thanks to movies like The Godfather and Apocalypse Now, so there's always a lot of expectation around his projects. Coppola hasn't made a movie since the 2011 horror film Twixt, which received mostly negative reviews, but he's now coming back with his biggest, most ambitious, and long-awaited project so far, Megalopolis. Megalopolis started as a passion project for Coppola in the 1980s, and he revealed in 2007, via Ain't It Cool, that he agreed to direct Bram Stoker's Dracula, Jack, and The Rainmaker to get out of debt and be able to fund Megalopolis. After getting color works for it done and holding table reads with several actors, Coppola said in 2007 that he had abandoned the project. Luckily, Coppola returned to it in 2019 and set it into motion, with an unbelievable budget of $120 million. Megalopolis is not only Coppola's biggest project to date, but it's also marking a surprising first in his career. Megalopolis is Francis Ford Coppola's first sci-fi movie. Not counting short films and other minor projects. Adam Driver Megalopolis. Francis Ford Coppola's career as a filmmaker began in 1963 with Dementia 13, a black-and-white horror thriller, after which he made a comedy, a musical, and a drama movie before bringing Mario Puzo's novel The Godfather to life in 1972. The Godfather was a critical and commercial success, becoming one of the greatest movies ever made. Coppola's next big hit was the war film Apocalypse Now, which was also a hit with critics and general audiences and earned a spot among the greatest films ever made. Apocalypse Now was followed by movies from a variety of genres, but none of them sci-fi movies until now. In 1986, Coppola directed and co-wrote with George Lucas and Rusty Lemirande the short film Captain EO, a 3D sci-fi adventure starring Michael Jackson as the title character. Captain EO is Coppola's only visit to the sci-fi genre, but when it comes to feature-length projects, he stayed away from it until Megalopolis entered production. Megalopolis is an epic sci-fi drama set in New York and follows Julia Cicero, Natalie Emanuel, who is divided between loyalties to her father, Frank, Forrest Whitaker, who has a classical view of society, and her lover Caesar, Adam Driver, who has a progressive perspective and wants to rebuild the city as a utopia after a devastating disaster. It's unknown why Coppola hadn't made a sci-fi movie until now, especially after exploring so many other genres and colleagues and friends like George Lucas and Steven Spielberg making some of the greatest sci-fi movies ever. Francis Ford Coppola's genre diversity is promising for Megalopolis. Francis Ford Coppola has explored a wide variety of genres. Francis Ford Coppola is best known for making one of the greatest crime-slash-gangster movies ever and one of the best war films ever as well, but his filmography goes way beyond that. Coppola has explored genres like coming of age with The Outsiders, comedy with Peggy Sue Got Married, legal drama with The Rainmaker, and even horror with Bram Stoker's Dracula. Surely, not all of Coppola's movies have been a success with critics and general audiences, but this wide variety of genres inevitably gives him an upper hand over many other directors who stick to one or two genres. Coppola has also mixed genres in his movies to great success, and that's in large part thanks to his experience in a variety of genres. Not making a sci-fi movie before Megalopolis shouldn't be an impediment for Coppola, and his genre diversity means that Megalopolis can have hints of other genres, making it more complex and interesting and a much bigger spectacle than it's already expected to be. Why Megalopolis is so exciting, and risky. Expectations for Megalopolis are way too high. Megalopolis movie most exciting things expect. Coppola has been working on Megalopolis for so long and put so much effort into it for years that it automatically makes it a project to look out for, especially given Coppola's reputation as a respected filmmaker. The fact that Megalopolis is also Coppola's first sci-fi movie makes it quite exciting, as it's unlike anything he has done before, plus it has an incredible cast with some big and popular names in it, such as Lawrence Fishburne, Aubrey Plaza, Jason Schwartzman, and Giancarlo Esposito. However, despite all this and more, Megalopolis is also a huge risk. The budget of Megalopolis not only makes it an exciting project as it raises questions of why Coppola would need such a high budget for a movie, but it's also incredibly risky because Megalopolis has to be a massive success in order to make a profit. Although Francis Ford Coppola has many successes under his name, 
He also has some not-so-memorable projects, so while Megalopolis is a highly anticipated and exciting project, there's still a risk of it not meeting those high expectations.